What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So it's 2021. Obvious naman. So this is the GTX 1660 Super in 2021. Is it still worth buying considering its current price? Well, yes. But of course, we'll get into more detail about that. But before we get into it, I just wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor, CDK Offers. And of course, if you haven't heard of CDK Offers, they're an online store selling various digital goods like software, programs, and game keys from different platforms at an affordable price. For example, if you want to get an affordable Windows 10 Pro key, then look no further as CDK Offers has you covered. Simply click buy now and use my code KG20 to get an extra 20% off on your purchase. Choose your preferred payment method and BAM! You now have a legit Windows 10 Pro key and to activate it, just simply copy the key, type activation in your Windows search bar, and click activation settings. Change product key, paste, next, and activate. And congratulations as you now have a genuine copy of Windows 10 Pro. You can check out this offer in the link in the video description. Special thanks again to CDK Offers for sponsoring this video. So okay, the GTX 1660 Super based on NVIDIA's Turing architecture was released in late 2019. Uh, 2019 the good old times. So as to not get too technical in this video, here's the tech specs on the GTX 1660 Super. And the 16 series of graphics cards from NVIDIA was kind of a confusing lineup. But nevertheless, the 1660 Super offered great value. At the time of release was for me the best value graphics card in the market as it offered great performance for 1080p. For esports titles, the 1660 Super crushed it. But how about in 2021? To the people who are looking to upgrade from maybe a really old or underpowered graphics card, maybe like a 750Ti? To the people who are planning on building a budget or value gaming PC, is this the one for you? Or around 12 thousand to thirteen thousand pesos here in the Philippines well it may possibly be. So the specific card that I have is the Palette GTX 1660 Super Gaming Pro OC. A bit of a mouthful but yeah. And just a side note mga kuya, just because you see an OC Gaming Creo X or even Strix on the box of a graphics card doesn't mean it's gonna perform significantly better than let's say a Founders Edition of the card. Although the 1660 Super didn't have a Founders Edition you get my point, right? So, you know, just maybe buy the most affordable variant of a graphics card you're planning on buying. So, yeah, in terms of performance, the 1660 Super crushes it with even the most demanding AAA title, 60 FPS, and most of the time, way over 60 FPS. And yes, it can run Cyberpunk 2077 uh, comfortably in 1080p high settings at 60fps. For esports titles like Valorant, CSGO, Dota 2, or League of Legends, yeah. Dead. 
is over 100 to 200 fps more than enough for you then very nice so yeah the gtx 1660 super is still a solid graphics card even in 2021 the cheapest one that i was able to find online was this msi aero variant for 12608 so that's great value for a graphics card and maybe you wouldn't even need to upgrade for two or so years but a few things of course to keep in mind if you're someone who mainly plays in 1080p may it be AAA titles or esports titles you don't really care about rtx i mean if you're looking for a graphics card for under 15,000 pesos then rtx should be the last thing on your mind <laughs> and you're upgrading from a really old or underpowered graphics card by today's standard if this is you then yeah the gtx 1660 super is definitely the one for you i'll leave the link in the description so yeah hopefully you guys found this video helpful leave a like if you did dislike if you feel like you have to consider subscribing and of course hit the bell icon to be updated on my latest videos and of course the good stuff to support the channel use my shopee lazada or bango the affiliate link if you're buying anything from them it helps me out a lot like my facebook page for posts and updates that i don't post on youtube as always mga kuya stay safe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace